Insights and inspiration from ordinary people having extraordinary impact. It is really heartening to see the thriving community of coaches. I have met such fascinating people who are coaches out there and each of them has some speciality that they deal with. And I love the fact that they are able to give time to dedicate to help people live their lives better. I truly believe that coaching is for everyone and everyone should have a life coach. I have with me on this video some interesting interviews that I've done with not only my dear guru Peter Redding but several other coaches who have peers in this industry and they're getting their insights to you as to what they believe coaching is and how it can benefit you. Let's take this ride. So uh, Harmeet, what is uh, coaching according to you? According to me, uh, Priya, coaching is really getting to help clients observe certain things which they have not been observing very well. So to me, it's helping them become more aware and seeing things which were, you know, either part of their awareness, but they were not looking at it, helping them in a certain direction or just getting them to see things which were not part of their consciousness before that. And once the awareness happens, then the shift and the results and whatever they are trying to achieve happens. So for me, coaching is really about awareness, creating awareness for the, the partnership of a coach and a client. Um, because as a coach, we don't go with any agenda, right? So there is, it's, it's really trying to understand the world that the client is living in and um, also creating awareness for the client to understand the world that they are living in. There's a lot of stuff that's going on and we are not even consciously aware of what's going on in our lives. So coaching is to coming to that deeper level of awareness, going under the surface of things. How has coaching you feel been able to impact the clients or the coaches that you have been you know, working with? It's been really varied. Um, there are times when clients come in you know, for help in a certain domain and uh, they've realized that it is essentially linked to something else in their lives. So I feel many times my clients have come in with a different uh, agenda or on their mind. And then we've really looked at it. It seems like they were really looking after something else. So to answer your question, it's, it could be, you know, f ranging from either helping them understand what their goal is itself, shifting a goal. Uh, to really building shifts within them so that they can be creating changes on, you know, sustainable changes by themselves moving forward. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Um, so what is the type of coaching that you specialize in? Is there some specific type and what are the types that are available? Coaches find that there are a lot of niches they can occupy in this field. Uh, for me, I can talk about myself. I focus on clients who are professionals uh, either coming uh, back to the professional world or in a corporate world. I focus on coaching them. Uh, and uh, my coaching essentially is helping them build self-awareness to achieve their results. So uh, that's, that's, the, that's the kind of market that I work in. Sure. So uh, can you explain to me in simple words, if you were to explain to a 10-year-old, what is coaching? To a 10 year old, I would say coaching is essentially getting to your goals faster uh, with the help of somebody who's supporting you in that arena. Coaching, I understand, uh, is a very confidential uh, process that goes through between a coach and his, his or her coachee. What is the purpose of this confidentiality? I think the, the basic premise why a client really tends to uh, share or open up is based on a very safe and a trusted environment. And um, it's, it's, the co you know, it's the coach's main goal or um, uh, the, uh, you know, the foundation of the work that we do is to create that space of trust where they can share whatever they wanna share. And it's not just one sharing, it is also the coach sharing in trust with uh, you know, that environment that we've created. So um, confidentiality is essentially really key so that they, they can be open sharing and learning. Uh, if, it's, if it's not confidential, people will keep certain hidden parts hidden to themselves. Have you had instances where coaching has impacted someone's life in a manner that has been sort of life altering? You know what's funny Priya, that sometimes once the coaching is over, most of the time clients don't, uh, you know, look back and uh, say that, hey, this has been my coach. I mean, I've experienced a lot of times where clients have really 
felt that they have grown, but coaching allows them to feel as if they've done it themselves. Right. Mm. Um, and, and I think that's the whole power of coaching. It is not somebody who is mentoring, holding, holding hands and being an expert and saying, see, this is the way you go. Mm. Coaching is really about people feeling like they're making the difference. Um, Instead of looking at like a life altering uh, shift, I've seen people who've come with the, you know, with the mindset of uh, just working at a outside in goal, taking a goal outside and wanting to deliver that, but going away with a much deeper shift where they are, they've become aware about who they are and what is it that they need to uh, you know, look at and how do they need to really be in this world. So I've definitely seen people being very different after they have been coached over a long period of time or, or for a sustainable period of time. Right. Um, so how does one get into, the, into a career of coaching? How does one take this up? Um, first of all, you need to uh, be a, yourself a good learner. A coach needs to be a continuous learner because the field of coaching, you're really dealing with life and anything can come up in the domain of life when you know one is coaching. Um, but to begin with, I would say that get, a train, get trained as a coach from, uh, from an institute that is certified. Uh, one of the organizations is ICF, which does the certification on training courses. Um, so get yourself certified and then Practice, practice, practice. Coaching is all about embodying the whole aspect of coaching as a coach. So get as much as you can in terms of practicing to get your skills, um, you know, higher up there, become a better coach. Share a client experience, not detailing, obviously, but yeah. Yeah. So I think uh, one of my recent client experience was, uh, there was uh, last year I was coaching somebody who, uh, who had come with a lot of concerns where uh, work life, personal life, physical health, all of it was, you know, there was a lot of uh, procrastination. Things were not moving the, the way uh, my client wanted to move mm -hmm. and a lot of dissatisfaction. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I realized as we moved on, we kept looking at, you know, from his point of view, trying to solve a lot of things, like as there, there was a problem to be faced. Uh, but as we kind of created more awareness around his own, uh, you know, thought process, he quickly realized that it was essentially something that needed to change about him holding himself with legitimacy and self worth. Mm -hmm. And um, how and it was beautiful the way he, he came up with designing um, aspects of changing that. And it involved a lot of physicality in the sense how he wanted to, um, you know, be part of mindful practices of involving body and movement, which, which to me was amazing because I feel, uh, you know, most clients end up uh, only focusing on, on results and actions. But when they really look into using their whole self, um, they can make bigger changes. So when he came to the coaching session, yeah, he was not thinking of anything to do with his physical self, you know, how he can use his mindfulness practice on his physical self to create change. But when he left it, that's what he left doing. And he was absolutely satisfied with the results and his life started changing afterwards. So that was, that was a great learning for me. And I feel as, as coach, as a coach, I learn as much as my clients do and I grow with each one of them. Uh, so it was a, it was an opening experience for me as well. And I've enjoyed coaching all my clients because I think the basic thing to um, have in our hearts is a lot of reverence from the life for, for the life comes forward for coaching. And um, so I, I think I can, I can proudly say that I'm in love with all my clients. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. <laughs> I'm in love with all my clients. <laughs> they are just amazing people. I mean, it's, it's the way they move. It's, it's amazing. Get to learn so much from that. So yeah, that's what I find. You know, coaching primarily, it, you know, is that discovery that 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 beauty that's lying within, which you tend to not notice because you're so busy looking at the world outside, you know, and you tend to sort of not give it that full potential. So I think the coach just comes in place and plays that sort of you know pivot to say, hey, look at how awesome you are, you know, and making them just realize that. And that's what I love about coaching too. It's fantastic. Yeah. 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 Absolutely.
Great. So Priya, you, you've been in this for a while, right? As well, yes. for how many years? I personally have been a coach for about two and a half years now. And yeah. ever since I started, my journey with coaching has been, I think, the most gratifying. I, it was life altering in that way. In a sense, the way it happened to me, I coached under Peter Redding and he is mwah, the best ever uh, faculty. Uh, he literally, you know, sort of held us like babies to, through this process of discovering what coaching is all about. And uh, it really taught me more than anything else, Harmeet, uh, for me, it has been a big gift because it taught me presence, presence in any situation of life, whatever it be, you know, if you're present, it's going to be awesome. If you are not present, something goes wrong, you know, so you got to be present, whatever the situation is beautiful, lovely, loving, tough, nasty, presence is what's key. And coaching has taught me that. And the more present I am, even with my own clients, when I'm coaching them, that also comes through as great benefit for them, because I'm completely present in that coaching session, paying attention, listening to what they're saying, what they're not saying, sometimes, sometimes holding back, you know, being able to just see that and being able to you know, point that out and say, hey, what's happening like, you know, here? So for me, coaching has been a big uh, turning point in my life. And I totally love this as a profession. This is something I'm going to do till I die. <laughs> <laughs> An old hag sitting in bed. Yes, honey, what's going on? What's up? <laughs> I think, I, think I, I absolutely agree in terms of how tra self-transforming it is, you know, because yeah. the presence that we can offer to our clients is only available if we are present to ourselves. Exactly. And so it has, everything begins with us. Uh, and um, if, if we haven't, you know, experimented and seen the same things in our life, it's hard for us to offer. And so I, that's, that's why I think I'm, on, I'm in love with this profession as much as you are. Great. I think we both will be, we both will be all holding each other's hands and still be coaching. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Thank you.